I don't think I've ever been more excited about a makeup launch than I am right now about Makeup by Mario's brand new collection. <laughs> Hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Mariam and today I'm going to be reviewing and revealing Makeup by Mario's brand new makeup line launch. So he has just come out with a full on eye collection available October 1st. We, makeup reviewers, YouTubers, beauty influencers are not allowed to talk about it until Tuesday night. So if you see any reviews before Tuesday night, don't watch them. So I was sent this actually on Friday and of course I snuck a peek, but I'm trying to follow the rules and I'm not talking about it until I'm supposed to. Also, I wanna film this video and I wanna film my reaction to these products. So obviously I haven't tried any of them on right now. My face has some foundation, but basically I'm not wearing any of Mario's new products. Right now I'm very excited. I have a lot of anticipation for the products, but let's see how my reaction progresses once I actually test everything out, once I try and swatch and apply everything to my face. So in this video, expect a full, thorough, in-depth review with prices, with swatches, with application, and of course a verdict at the end. So watch this review first, okay? Remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get to it. Makeup by Mario, finally, here we come. Let's do this. So I got this super cool PR package, a briefcase basically. Very cool packaging, very cool design. Let's plop it open. All right, so inside we have a booklet first and foremost. And this booklet basically shows all the products it's written in Mario's tone, in his voice. There's lots of tips and tricks. I actually read this book cover to cover before filming this video. I really wanted to familiarize myself with the products. This booklet in itself has its weight in gold. What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the phrase? So apparently this launch that starts with the eyes is how Mario likes to apply his makeup, starting with the eyes. Then he builds on top of that, adding the foundation, then the lips. So I'm assuming that complexion products and other products will follow this initial launch. So next we have these two trays with some palettes inside. We also have some brushes. In the first tray we have two palettes and now these are meant to be staple core palettes. They're all separated by texture. The first one is called Master Mattes and this is what it looks like. It's a basic everyday essential palette that is actually inspired by skin tones. So all of these eyeshadows are matte. Mario explains that the way he likes to start out with his eye makeup is by contouring and building up the eye using concealers and cream products. So this is essentially a simplified version of that. Basically just powders, but in skin tone shades. I actually think this is so genius. It's never been done before. And and I just love, love, love the story behind it. Boom. Apparently this matte 12 contains carbon black pigment, which according to Mario is five times more intense than a traditional black shadow. So this is supposed to be used to create a super dramatic type of smoky look. Master Matte is $48. And now all of these products are going to be available on makeupbymario.com and sephora.com starting October 1st. Also these two shades can be used for the brows. So I've actually applied my brow gel and laminated my brows already, but I left them kind of clean so that I can use use these two shades and kind of just test them out and see how they apply as eyeshadow products. Next up, we have the Master Metallics. And this is basically an all shimmery eyeshadow palette. Apparently all of these colors were inspired by the colors that are within our human body. This is so super nerdy, according to Mario. I watched one of his interviews and he was saying that if you magnify certain parts that are within our body under a microscope, these are the colors that are universal to all all of us, that's super cool. The Master Metallics are also $48. These are supposed to be part creamy, part powder type of formulation. So it's a totally different texture from the mattes, but these textures are formulated to work well together. Very excited about these two. Next up, we have another palette. This one is called Master Metallics. It comes with a little spatula and a mixing medium. The Master Metal Manipulator, which is $14 and the palette itself Itself is also $48 like the previous two palettes. Super gorgeous colors. There's actually a removable 
tray in here that you can apply the mixing medium to and then mix your metals and then basically it creates kind of like a liquid metal type formulation that you could easily use as a liquid liner or to cut the crease or just to create that solid color of metal. Now again, I have not tried any of this, but this sounds so up my alley. Next up, you guys, we have the Master Eye Prep and set, which actually comes in three different colors, light, medium, and deep. It's $28, and it includes two creamy concealer type of shades, basically your primers for the eye and also a powder. So this is how Mario likes to apply his base eye makeup, basically cancel out the lid with a lighter shade if you want the eyeshadow color to pop, or neutralize it with the slightly darker shade for a more natural look. I kind of love and appreciate that they send me all three shades because if I were a makeup artist, I would use all three shades on different clients. Last but not least, we have the Master Crystal Perfector in three shades, bronzite, citrine, and quartz, $24 each. And this is supposed to be a super duper shimmery, sparkly type of product to give you a sheer but almost wet sparkly effect. Think Kim K at the Med Gala. Oh my God. Super stunning. Gorgeous. I swatched these because I feel like these are really hard to showcase on camera. So you really just need to see the sparkle on an actual skin tone. I will get to swatching everything else. Don't you worry. Next, we have the Master Secret Glow, which is supposed to be a sheer emollient type of highlighter, basically like a petroleum jelly. When you open it up, it almost looks like it's missing something. Like, is this supposed to be an eyeshadow? But then you actually see that there's product in there. It's like a clear jelly that you can use on top of your cheekbones, on your eyelids, on your lips, wherever you need a little extra glow. But it's not supposed to disrupt your foundation. So we will test all of that out in just a sec. Secret Glow is $22. We also have a liquid liner, which is basically a felt tip pen. This is $22. We have two liner pencils in brown and in black with a cool little flat brush on the end that Mario is said to have engineered himself. These are the pencils, $22 each. We also have a Master Matte Brightening Pencil in light. And this is basically your waterline pencil that's not too white and isn't too nude. It's kind of just like in between, like a flesh tone color that's supposed to brighten the inner rim of your eye. Last but not least, we have brushes, but I'm gonna talk about the brushes as I use the brushes. So now that I've introduced everything, now that my heart has finally settled down, I think I am ready to apply these products onto my face and see how they work. Are you guys as excited as I am? All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go according to the order in which I'm supposed to be using this product. So I'm gonna grab my Master Eye Prep and Set. I'm gonna grab the EF dual-ended brush, one side of which is actually meant for the application of this Prep and Set powder. I'm gonna grab the medium shade and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the lighter shade. I'm gonna slap this product all the way across my lid just for a little brightening effect. I'm gonna use my finger for the other eye just to see if there's any difference. I far prefer using my finger than a brush for this step and just because my eyes are a little bit smaller and I find that this brush is a pinch too large to get into my little grooves here. I'm gonna use the fluffy side of this brush. Again, this is a generous size. It is a nice fluffy brush, but it also has some body to it, so it's not super flimsy at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and set all of that with the included powder. You can also use this brush to diffuse any eyeshadow or for all over lid color. Okay, one thing that I just noticed that is a little bit annoying is that the packaging of all three palettes is identical. So unless you're reading the fine print on the back, you don't know which palette is which. I wish there was a way to be able to tell one palette from the other, but right now I'm wasting a lot of time picking up the palette reading the name. You know, maybe I'm nitpicking here, but it's something that has to be mentioned. So before I even get to defining my eye, I'm just gonna grab a little brow brush. This one from Benefit will do. And I wanna see how these two shades that are specifically meant for the brows actually work for the brows. So let's go ahead and try it. Just adding a little bit of definition 
across the top line of my brow just to make it a little bit less boy brow and a little bit more groomed. Might need to try that without the brow gel next time. All right, still, it did give a little something. So next, I'm gonna grab EF2 brush, which is actually meant for contouring your eye. EF2 brush is very, very, very fluffy, so not as stiff as the first brush that I showed. So I already have a little base with the previous powder. So now I'm just gonna dip my brush into this shade here, which looks like a nice ochre shade. Shade. Definitely like olive skin tones inspired. I see the inspo. Just gonna use that to define my outer crease and define my eye socket. This is a very soft shadow. Not something that is super duper clingy to the base, but I can tell off the bat that this is a formula that makeup artists prefer to use on their celebrity clients because this is something that can help you create a professional buildable look as opposed to a lot of pigment and then spending a lot of time blending it out. All right, speaking of pigment, I know you guys want swatches, so let's do some swatches. I'm gonna actually start out by swatching the color that I just applied to my lid. Here, I picked some up. All right, now this is the brow shade. Nice. So basically, I just swatched this middle row here. I wanted to see whether the formula was consistent throughout the four shades, and to me, it seems like it is. It doesn't look like super pigmented swatches, but I don't really think all eyeshadows have to be super duper pigmented, especially when they are this neutral. I will say the palettes are also very, very, very light. They're very compact, so definitely something that you can easily throw in your bag and go, which is why I can easily use the mirror that's in the palette, because it's not heavy at all. I'm gonna elongate this eye just a little bit. So far, I will say that this formulation is very, very easy to use, not just for a makeup artist, but also for a novice, for someone who would need an everyday palette to go to work or run errands or pick up your kids. It's really not intimidating, which I'll be honest, when you think about Kim K's makeup, you immediately get somehow intimidated, thinking that it's so complicated that there's no way you'd be able to pull that off or the products that she uses can only be used by someone with Mario's skill level. I like the fact that he simplified his concepts. All right, I'm gonna pick up this E5 brush and let's go for a deeper shade. How about this one here? For now, I just wanna add a bit of that cool brown to my outer corner just to create some definition and some drama. Easy peasy. So good. I'm gonna use whatever's remaining on the brush and just run that through my lower lash line just for a bit of a shadowed effect, but nothing too smoky. I love this brush. It's just like the perfect size and the perfect density. Definitely very versatile. You could do a lot of things with this brush. All right, I'm gonna swatch the bottom row just to see how well it swatches. And here comes that carbon black. Oh my, look at that. I mean, okay, these do not swatch like the Natasha Denona mattes, but you can definitely see that there's a lot of pigment in them. So this is a less emollient formulation, but it's something that I think is highly buildable. And although this shade didn't really swatch that great, it applied really lovely to my lids. So case in point, swatches aren't everything. Now, right, so here is the first row swatched and here it is across my arm, here it comes. All right, you guys, so here are the master mats. What do we think? Comment below. All right, I'm gonna set the master mats aside for now. I will be back to the black shade, so I definitely wanna test that one out. Next up, I wanna reach for the master metallics, these colors here. This palette, for some reason, reminds me of a NARS palette. Actually, I wanna dip my fingers into some of these shades just to feel the texture. Definitely different from the NARS textures. First of all, look at the pigment of that metallic shadow. Holy crap. Definitely feels very, very cushiony, almost wet to the touch. So I like that and I see the concept here. This is beautiful. All right, so now that I've swatched this one, don't wanna waste any product. I am going to go ahead and stamp that to my inner lid and inner corner and kind of just glide that across. Wow, that is really, really, really lovely. Obviously you can do this with a brush, but why would you want to do this with a brush when the texture is so cushiony? You want to glide that, especially if it glides so effortlessly. I'm really pleased. All 
I would definitely say that a little bit goes a long way with this shadow. Let's see if I can add a little bit of this green, perhaps to blend a little bit between the yellow gold and that brown. Oh, I am in love with these textures. Woo, how pretty is that? Shall we go ahead and swatch a couple more? Shall we call in the swatch model for that? Let's get someone else's opinion, not just mine, because the swatch model is part of Team Truth. He knows. All right, so while we wait for the swatch model, I'm gonna maybe test out another color. Thinking this one has a little bit more sparkle than this one, so just wanna test that out. Perhaps right here in the center. Ooh, I love that it's distinct. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I can definitely tell in the mirror here that this is a little bit sparklier and a little bit more popping than the first one. Oh, this is so pretty. Honestly, so far, this one is looking like NARS, but definitely not feeling like NARS. Hmm. I can definitely see Mario's point of view. I can see his perspective as a makeup artist. Everything is just very cohesive and I see his signature in all of these products. That's making me very excited as a makeup consumer. All right, so here we have our swatch model. I'm gonna go four at a time. All right, here we go. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I would like to point out that the consistency of the quality throughout each color is pretty remarkable. Mm -hmm. You mean like they all swatched evenly? I've, I've, I can't say I've ever seen that. All right, next four. Oh my. Wow, that is, that's, look, I mean, I, just look at the way it ends. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's pretty, you're not even trying. All right, and let's go for the last four. That's literally beautiful. I just, uh, you hit over my. Yeah, let's try. Right, yeah. Try to clean that up a bit. Boom! I mean... That is beautiful. And look how much pigment is still left on my fingers. This too looks cool, warm, and neutral. Yeah, there's a lot of variations yeah, on the shimmery amazing. shades in here. Oh wow. my god, I might have just gotten an extra set of abs. Well, that's pretty, impressive. pretty impressive, yeah. Make a wipe, see how it wipes off. For metallics to come off that smooth, look at that. Nice. Didn't Clean. Even, look at that. Didn't even. Oh. All right. So, so far, I would say this palette is absolutely worth however much it costs. $48. This is something innovative and different. I have not seen metallics like this. They're definitely part creamy, part powdery. They have a lot of emollients, easy glide, gorgeous colors, shimmery shades in both neutrals and warm and cool tones. I like this. This is a keeper, you guys. Next thing I want to test out are these single sparkly shadows. So I'm thinking because I have a lot of gold going on, I'm gonna go for the citrine, which is like the super sparkly yellow. Basically, this is supposed to be a sheer sparkly type of pressed eyeshadow that the more you swirl, the more pigmented or packed on it will appear. So here I just picked up a little bit of that shimmer and I'm just gonna stack that to the center to see if there is a difference. I'm also gonna go a little bit past the lid kind of onto my eyebrow so that you can see how wet and beautiful it looks. I'm gonna add a bit of that to the inner corner. Ooh, I am loving that. Really don't need much here. This is stunning actually. It gives the eye that wet illusion that I love. I'm kind of obsessed with this. Ooh, I wanna test out those liners. The perfect brown it is. Love that sound. Gonna run that liner close to my lash line, from corner to corner. Not super precisely, kind of just shading that. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this brush. Looks like a lip brush. It's flat, and I'm gonna use that to flick the product out and up. I'm basically blending that with the shadow. The brush is actually super soft, and the pencil is really easy to blend out. So this is a great combo. Just gives you that nice dark in the lash line, but without the definition. Of course, if you want the definition, you can add the liquid liner on top. But what's cool is that this pencil is absolutely not disrupting the eyeshadow. I can tell that the textures were formed formulated to work well together and everything was really thought out well. Wow, I'm gonna use a little bit of the brown pencil on my lower lash line as well. Just connecting those two like so. And then back to the brush, blending that out. So, so, so simple and so genius. Why hasn't anyone thought of a brush like this before? This is a great combo. Pencil is really, really creamy, super easy to work with. There is a bit of fallout with the shimmery shades. So I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush and just flick that off just to see how easily that works. I mean, not super easily because these are sparkles. All right, so now let's test out the liner. 
you all know mama's not a fan of marker liners but this one supposedly takes 15 minutes to set 15 minutes to set what am i gonna do for 15 minutes like can i not blink that's honestly a little scary i wish it was the pencil that took 15 minutes to set you guys so i'm actually supposed to have a zoom meeting with mario tomorrow so if i learn something new i will actually film it and i will plug it in when you do liner um sometimes when you go on to other parts of the face you realize like when you start moving your face and doing other things that you're like damn it's crooked it's not the same but because like maybe straight on it's perfect Fit, but then as soon as you do this, it's like, oh, it's crooked. And so this will allow you 15 minutes where you could go in with a Q-tip or whatever it is and fix and adjust the shape. After 15 minutes, this is like fully bulletproof. So this locks in into the skin, it grabs, it grips, and it becomes matte. So far, it's a really nice liner. I was able to get a really solid cat eye, but it's nothing that I haven't seen before, nothing innovative. I get it, every single makeup line needs a liquid liner, but do we need another liquid liner? I don't know. Unless someone explains to me what those 15 minutes are about. All right, cute. You know what? Do a little inner corner jammy. Just extending that line a little bit past the tear duct. I mean, this is very, very close to the tear duct. So let's see how it holds up. We'll see what happens. All right, so far I'm really liking my look. It's very um, Kardashian-esque, I would say. All right, next up, just gonna curl my lashes, add some mascara, maybe some falsies, maybe some individuals, I don't know yet. So this collection, although it's all about the eyes, it does not include a mascara. So I don't know if there will be a mascara in the future. I'm just using this Essence mascara that I've been using lately. Why does that look so fire? I almost forgot, you guys. There's one more palette in this collection that I showed you before, and it is the Master Metals, filled with five metallic colors that are inspired by natural metals that are found in our Earth, in our universe. There's also a spatula that you could use to just scrape up some of this product, but I don't wanna do that. I kinda just wanna go easy peasy, drop a couple of drops into this tray, and then just mix it with a brush. All right, so I'm just gonna drop a couple of drops. Maybe just one is enough for what I'm trying to do. Maybe one and a half, there we go. I'm gonna just go ahead and, and let's see what happens if I use this as a liner right above my black liner. Guys, this is absolutely freaking stunning. I know the whole point of this is to appear like liquid gold or like liquid metal, and it absolutely does not disappoint. This is just so vibrant, so gorgeous. Obviously you can mix shades, you can create a multitude of different metallic tones. In my opinion, this is absolutely stunning. Probably not something that the everyday makeup consumer needs, but it's something that you may want because this is definitely taking a makeup artist technique, not just Mario's, but a technique that's been used forever and making it a little bit more attainable, a little bit easier to use for even your everyday makeup consumer. So to me, that makes it really cool. All right, I'm gonna perfect my liner, my 15 minute liner, just because I went over it a little too much much with the gold. You know what? I actually decided I'm going to create that little triangle underneath the eye too. I want to test out this nude liner on my waterline and also on my brow bone. I kind of want to see what happens if I pop it out right here. So you're reminding me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills or the Benefit brow pencil, just a lot more precise. Then I'm going to blend out that line. And then I'm gonna go back to the master mattes. Again, here I am looking for that master mattes because all the palettes look the same. I'm gonna grab this peachy shade here and I'm gonna add that right on top to blend out. That was really a good choice because we have a lot of sparkly, a lot of shimmery metallic shades going on. Just wanted a um, bright but matte brow bone highlighter. But I'm gonna go back to that citrine. I'm gonna add a pinch more sparkle just all the way to the brow. I don't know, I'm really just feeling this. I think this is so, so gorgeous and I love the wet effect that it gives. All right, now with the nude pencil. I'm gonna lighten just the inner corner so that you can see the difference. Here, this eye is a lot brighter than this one because the inner corner is highlighted. I'm gonna grab the brown pencil again and I'm going to shade the rest and kind of just blend in with my lower lash line. You see? So the inner corner is bare and bright and it's pointing downwards where the outer corner is kind of just retracting back. Does that even make any sense? All right, and now I'm gonna go back to the master mats and that E5 brush, wherever did she go? Here she is. And I'm gonna reach for just a smidge of that carbon black that is supposed to be five times blacker than your average eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna seal that right there, just right there. 
So now that I've done all that, I'm gonna add some mascara to my lower lashes. I'm gonna go back to that 15 minute liner and I'm going to extend this outer corner wing just a bit. I feel like because I've extended the inner corner, now it needs to be balanced out a little bit more with a longer wing. This 15 minute liner is so precise. I might just wanna add a couple of twiggies here and there. I'm gonna go for a lash. It's a look by House of Lashes X Patrick Ta. That did it. All right, so while the lash glue dries, I'm going to test out the final product in this collection. It's the Master Secret Glow. <laughs> empty pan clear jelly highlighter. This is supposed to not disrupt my makeup underneath. So I actually didn't add any highlighter. I just have my foundation on. And what I'm gonna do is just pick up a little bit with my finger. Definitely feels like Vaseline. This is actually quite nice. It's not disrupting my foundation. Gonna add a bit of that here. I see it and I like it. All right, let's do the lips real quick. On my lips, I'm already wearing my new favorite lip liner, which is Kevin Aquan Divine Lip Liner. This guy. I'm just gonna redefine my lips real quick. And then for my lip color, I'm gonna use my Posh Nude from my Pixie Collab. I feel like a beautiful neutral nude is just gonna complete this look perfectly. Mm. I'm gonna set everything with my Pop Makeup Magnet Mist. Mm. And this is my final look using Makeup by Mario first launch focusing on the eyes. Overall, I gotta say, I really love the color compilation of all of the eyeshadow palettes in this collection. I feel like they are very, very smart. They're very natural, but it almost feels like amped up naturals. I like the fact that the inspo behind the colors is something that you can find in the universe. It's inspired by skin tones. It's inspired by natural metals, colors that are found within our bodies. So I feel like all of that is extremely flat on the skin. It's all very, very wearable. And the concept is universal. It's something that everyone can relate to and gravitate towards. Now the first palette, Master Mattes, looks absolutely beautiful. I really like the skin tones concept. I feel like it's uh, Mario's signature, but simplified. So it's something that a lot of us can use, whether we are makeup pros or beginners or just makeup consumers looking for something that's great for every day. This is the perfect everyday palette. It's not super duper pigmented, the way that we are used to seeing eyeshadow formulas represented here on YouTube. It's not one of those palettes that's gonna give you that ultimate type of payoff, but with colors like these, I don't necessarily think it needs to have that type of pigmentation. Instead, I think something that is a little bit more buildable is actually a lot more approachable. For $48, I would say this is a great everyday palette. The second palette, Master Metallics, I thought the shadow formulas were just so breathtakingly beautiful. Everything just had this attention to detail that I, as a makeup reviewer and as a makeup consumer, really appreciated. I love the colors, I love the formula, I love how consistent they are, and I'm not the only one who noticed it. Even my swatch model, even Lee, noticed it, so that's saying a lot. This is gorgeous, and it goes hand in hand with the master mats, so these could be used together. The master metals and the mixing medium is another great concept that used to seem so, so impossible to attain unless you are a makeup professional, like Mario, like Pat McGrath, like Charlotte Tilbury, but the fact that he's made it so simple and and clever and just easy and fun. I feel like it gives just a regular everyday makeup consumer that glimpse into the makeup artist world and allows them to become their own makeup artist. And it also just feels inclusive. You know, it's not made for a certain skill level and I really, really appreciate that. Same with these sparkly eyeshadows, Master Crystal Reflectors. These were great, kind of addictive actually. I mean, I could see myself piling it on until, until. But they're really pretty, they're great for night. I can tell that this is something that would look great in daylight or in dim candlelight or on camera, in photos. So I like those as well. I really enjoyed the brushes. I really, really like the brush side of these pencil liners. Thought the liners were really easy to use. Not anything that I haven't seen before, but the brush is kind of innovative. It's very soft and it does help to blend out your eyeshadow or your liner to create that super smoky eye. The Master Mattes liquid liner, the 15 minute liner, seems good. I've seen it before. I don't know what the 15 minutes are about, but maybe I'll find out. And the Secret Glow Clear Jelly, this I've definitely seen before. It doesn't really feel too different or innovative. I mean, I get it, but you could probably find dupes for much much, much cheaper. Master Eye Prep and Set. 
great concept, but we've seen this before and we can definitely use other products for the same effect. So this wasn't super game changing for me. However, I like the concept. I get the inspiration behind everything. Between Mario and Kim Kardashian, they've sort of curated a certain style of beauty. And because of that, I am very, very, very much drawn to his perspective. And I want to see more products from him. I cannot wait for complexion products, you guys. I can tell that it's going to be something incredible. Basically, this first launch, it's kind of up my alley, you guys. I expect really big things. I know it's 2020 and I know a lot of people are launching their own brands, but I feel like Makeup by Mario is here to stay and I am <laughs> eagerly waiting for the next launch. That is my review, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. Tune into some of my other videos that you see right here. There's one that YouTube thinks is a video that you might like and another one that is my latest video. So check them out. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Mwah.